Hello YouTube, this is 2012 Solarful. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a basic solar system. What you will need is a panel, solar panel. Right there you see my 15 watt solar panel from Harbor Freight. 12 volt charge controller right there and a 12 volt battery. The battery is, the best type of battery is the golf cart batteries but the marine batteries are also pretty good but they need to make sure that there are deep cycle batteries because if you drain down an automotive battery too low it will damage it but this one it's the same with the deep cycles but you could take these down lower without damaging the battery so there it is so it's very base easy to uh, set up a small solar generator like what I have see there's the panel the wire goes out there follow it there on the ground guys it goes into this uh, quick disconnect here then from the um, solar panel right here, you see, into my charge controller, that side. And from the charge controller, it goes to my battery. Now, I'm just charging up this um, interstate battery you see here. You see right there, there's a little charging light. Let's see, kind of blurry on camera, but this is a charging light and this is a charge light. This light right here will light up green once it hits the 14.2 volts there. So, let's see if I can zoom in. i clear that up for you. Nah. Okay, well, uh, this is a basic Coleman 7 amp charge controller. It takes up to 107 watts of solar panels. The cut-in voltage is 13, which means when the battery drops below 13 volts, it will the solar panel will kick in and charge it. And the cut-out voltage is... 14.2 volts so when it hits 14.2 volts the little green charge light here will light up and then it will drop back down to 13 then the solar panel will kick in and charge it again you have to have a charge controller the charge controller keeps the battery from overcharging from your solar panel and also keeps the battery from discharging when the solar panel is not in use or say the sun is covered up by the cloud or it's night time and your battery here, um, you use this power when the sun is not shining or say there's a cloud passed over and you want to run your load, it would be running off the battery, not the solar panel there. Now this is a very basic solar system. You can also attach you a power inverter here to turn the DC power, 12 volt DC, into 120 volts AC, which you know you could run you any lamp that has a three prong or even a two prong. Um, let's go ahead and check the voltage of this real quick. Guys, hang on, let me go ahead and get my connection made here. All right, there you go, guys. And as you can see, the battery is at 14.1 volts and climbing. Sun just shined here. So once it hits 14.2, the charge controller here will cut off. Let's see, it's probably about to do it. See the green charge light came on. And right here, the battery voltage is at 13.5 and dropping. When it hits 13.0, the charge controller will kick back in and charge up that battery. But this battery is pretty much fully charged, so you're not going to be able to see it drop down to 13 volts because it's been charging for a good while now. But this is a very basic system. Three parts you will need for sure will be definitely the solar panel, it's obvious. The charge controller is a must and a battery or a storage medium here. You could use, I've used a lawnmower battery. It worked pretty good. It's just a battery I had on hand. Um, you could use the sealed lead acid batteries. But pretty much any 12 volt battery will work. But as long as they're deep cycled, they are the best bat type of batteries. The golf cart batteries are definitely the best because they're lower voltage and the amp hours are higher. So that's just something to remember about choosing your batteries. But this is a very basic system. The panel, Harbor Freight usually has them. They run them on sale for about $70 each. Charge controller here. It um I got that one at Walmart for about $20. Of course, Amazon have them, eBay. You could uh, check online. And the deep cycle battery. Well, these two here, I paid $75 each for them. So you could get one for about $75 without the core. 
and I got these at my local advanced auto parts. But there you go guys, I just want to show you a really basic solar generator. So just keep in mind when you're buying or when you're starting a solar generator, three things you need, solar panel, charge controller, battery. So there you go guys, I hope that explains a little bit um, on how to set up a small solar generator. If you have any questions, please comment. I will respond to when I get a chance. Um, so that's about it. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care.